Have you been stopped by a traffic officer either for drunk driving, lacking a driving license, or speaking on the phone as you were driving? Have you also been charged for lacking a fire extinguisher or without or driving without your license? Well, this is some of the situations that we find ourselves in, and we are here to decode more on traffic offenses. Welcome to today's show. My name is Masi Wanza. I am your host at the Wakilim Kononi Show. Today we are privileged to have Sam, who is an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, on our show to address some of the concerns that we have on traffic offences. Welcome to our show, Sam. Thank you, Masi. Before we get right into the traffic offences, you mm -hmm. are also a DJ. Do you care telling us more about that? Because I understand that you go by the name DJ Stretch. I had a passion for music, so I, I pursued DJing while I was pursuing my law degree at Catholic University. So, I mean, throughout law, music has been part of my thing, and I have a passion for both of them. So that's, that's why I still follow DJing, and I still follow law. Yeah, so right. guys, you know, DJing is my main hassle. Law is, is a side gig. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> now, so let's get right into it. Okay. Uh, many Kenyans have this nightmare of being caught uh, for traffic offenses. So do you care to shed some light on the type of traffic offenses that exist under the Kenyan law? All right. So as b before we start, I'm going to start off with uh, a common issue that usually comes up when most people are caught uh, by police officers in Kenya, where they say, I didn't know. All right. Sijayona, aiko imeandikwa mahali. So how, how is it supposed to affect me? But it's, 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 it's common knowledge in law that lack of knowledge of the law is no defense. You should actually be up to date in what offenses exist in, uh, in, in our Kenyan laws. And that has been elabor elaborately sorry, uh, been laid out in our Traffic Act. We also have rules and regulations which specify what offenses exist in our law as concerns um, traffic. So just to start off and mention a few, well, there is uh, the one which has been bringing quite a, a bit of issues, which is speeding, over speeding. So over speeding is actually an offense in our Kenyan laws. There is, uh, we are quite a tech um, savvy society at the moment. So guys are always on their mobile phones. So driving while using a mobile phone, meaning at a Shika, as long as you are in any way using a mobile phone and you're caught, uh, that is an offense. So just to go through some more is, um, apart from there is a common terminology in USA which they say DUI, which is driving under the influence. So driving, that is an offense in Kenya. And just to name a couple of more is reckless driving, or if you're obstructing other people on the road, uh, overlapping, these guys who go on the sides of the road, pushing off passengers from the sides of the road, all those are offenses. So you need to go through the act, the rules, and the regulations so that you understand what offenses exist in our law as concerns traffic. Interesting. So you said ignorance of the law is no defense, that at least be. under the Kenyan laws. No, 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 no. Now, what are the possible fines or we can say punishments uh, for this uh, type of offenses that you have just mentioned? Okay. Um, so we can start off with uh, like driving with your phone, when you're talking with the phone. Right. I think that is the charge is up to about 2,000 Kenyan shillings, the fine. If, you, if you're caught, um, there's speeding. Speeding speeding is quite interesting because the, the, the faster you go, the, <laughs> the bigger the fine. So that can go up to about even 10,000 Kenya shillings. Um, you'll find some of them, that it's not necessarily only fines. Right. Some of them have some jail, jail, um, jail sentences. For example, like if you're found uh, drunk driving, I think it's up to 10,000 Kenya shillings or two years in 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 in, uh, in prison but all that has been laid down in in the act so for some of them the fines are really stiff especially for psbs uh, since as you've seen of late um the michiki rules are brought back again due to the deteriorating rate of our i mean of our roads and the way matatus have been driving just anyhow they want so they're, they're, especially for psbs they are a bit more strict on them but that does not um, exempt the rest of us who are private citizens and your private vehicles. There are also laws for you guys and various fines which have been laid out. And yes, I, you, yeah. Right, so in between being sentenced and some fines of up to 10,000 Kenyan shillings, um, this means that we really need to be aware of the traffic offenses. Yes. But now, uh, assuming that I have been caught uh, for any of the offenses that you have mentioned, what is the due legal process that I need to follow uh, under the law? 
All right. So if if you've been caught, first of all, please keep calm. All right. Uh, don't call your doctor. Don't call your lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> some guys go right. to some extremes. Right. No, no, just keep calm. Because in most cases, this officer is here for you. But more importantly is they, they need to give you a notification of what exactly you've done. Right. All right? They need to state um, um, the offense that you've committed. So you'll find um, in this day and age, there's a certain yellow book which is, which is written, uh, bail receipt, bail or bond receipt. So simply for those who don't understand what bail or bond is, because I'm sure you've been hearing it all over the news, right. as the, the name bond suggests is like to stick mm -hmm. or something like glue. So when you're bonded, it means you're giving out a bit of money so that you can appear uh, in court at a certain day. So you're bonded to what you've given out. So that's what simply uh, bond um, means. I mean, I'm just trying to put it in completely layman's term so that it's easier for you for you to, to understand. But they should be able, first of all, to, to, to tell you what offense you've committed. And then whether you deny or accept the charge, well, number one, if you deny the charge, then it means you guys have to go to court. All right? So you'll be given, you'll be asked to some, some most of them are usually paid instantly. You can, you can bail yourself instantly. And then you have, they give you a, a, a bail receipt where you're, they specify the offense. They say you committed this offense, you've accepted, and you appear on court on this day to plead the charges. Right. All right? So that is if you, if you, if you, if you, if you don't accept. Mm -hmm. But then now, we've introduced a new system because there's, there's been an influx of cases in, in court mm -hmm. and so many people are absconding. So they've decided that um, we're going to be having instant fines. Mm -hmm. They decided to make it, and as you know, as Kenyans, Kenyans, hate going to court. It's, it's, it's such a long, tedious process, and probably you might find you in such an urgent situation. I mean, you're a student, you could be, you could be running to school, um, uh, you probably, you're taking, uh, you're taking a sick one to hospital, or there's so many things, you could be getting married, I love Ushikwe, so will you wait to go to court? Of course you won't. So you have instant fines, so depending on what offense you've committed, they'll, they'll, they're cashless and um, secure payment methods which have been introduced so that once you pay the fine, mm -hmm. then the charge is ended and life goes on. Mm -hmm. All right? Right. Yes. Yeah, so if you're caught, you, you must be told what, what exactly you've done. Okay. So that is the legal process that exists. Yes. Now, uh, this is quite enlightening. And Wakili, maybe tell us what are some of the rights that a person has when they have been caught for these offenses? All right. So I'll stick to, to four of them, which mm -hmm. to me are they're, they're really core and they're really simple and um, some you'll find them enshrined in our constitution mm -hmm. but first and foremost if you have committed an offense you have to be told what offense you have committed number two let's say for example uh, you deny and you decide to go to court mm -hmm. you you have the right to a fair hearing in, in court so, so you should be allowed to be supplied with all documents if you've been to court that's why you'll find Probably some people without representation, they're asking for, I need to be supplied with witness statements. It's, it's your right. You, you need to be given a fair hearing um, uh, when you are in court. And then um, for me, number three, the other right is um, you have the right to an advocate, right? So some, it's, we know it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit expensive in, in Kenya for legal representation, but you have some agencies around who and some NGOs who offer such legal services for for the common man NG. The pro bono? Yeah, the pro bonos. The guys who do actually do quite a bit of pro bonos. So if you find yourself in such a situation, then you have the right to to to, to an advocate. And then last but not least, number four, you have the right to bail. All right. So ukishikwa, you 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 know you're not being taken to the cell straight, right? It's it's your absolute right to be given bail whenever you've been caught for an offense. And yes, it's, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's your right. We're not refusing. But remember, at times, depending on the scale of the offense that you've committed, it's not absolute. It's, it's, it's a must. So that, uh, as, as you've seen of late, will be left to, to the discretion of, of the court on deciding probably how much bail you'll get. But for traffic offenses, especially minor offenses, then that one, you, you, you have the right to be given bail. But if it's something more serious, probably uh, like driving under the influence, or probably you've caused an accident which has led to death of a person, that one, don't say, because I've come, I should be given bail. 
But for minor offenses, you have the right to be given bail. This is quite informative. So finally, Sam, um, as, we, as we come to the end, just let us know that, for example, someone has been caught and they have, they know the, the, the type of offense they have, they know their rights, but they're feeling harassed or mishandled by the police officers. What then should happen? What is also the process towards that, after that? Okay, um, to, to answer that, you, you need to remember, first of all, that uh, police are human like you, right? right? So they, they, they will, in some instances, uh, probably be overcome by the situation and probably take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. So we have these agencies which have been set up. Um, we have uh, IPOA, some guys will say IPOA, which is the Independent Police Oversight uh, Authority, which you can go report um, uh, officers or probably traffic, uh, traffic uh, police officers who have probably, you feel they have, have contravened some of the rights that you've been given, probably um, he didn't state the offenses or pro he took a bribe, um, he never followed a certain procedure. You have that, uh, you have that way or that, that means to go and report them to these uh, oversight committees and the same will be investigated. Uh, number two, I've also seen our, um, our current IG has really opened up police stations. He's, he's made them a bit friendly. Uh, to the common monainchi. So if you feel that an officer has offended you, in most cases, they'll have their police number. If access to IPOA is very far, just go to the local police station, ask for the uh, OCS, which is the OCS commanding the station, and uh, they should be able to, 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 to listen to you. In this, this, especially in this day and age, 2018, um, approaching police has become very easy. Right? They're being made to be a bit more friendly, a bit more humane uh, to the common Mananchi. So don't suffer in silence. You just go speak out. And, well, you also have Wakili Mkononi. All right, so this brings us to the end of our show. It has been quite informative, and I am aware that we are now in the know of the legal offenses that exist under uh, the Traffic Act and some of the rights that we have. So thank you, Sam, for joining us today. Thank you very much. Asante sana. All right. All right. Have a good one. We have come to the end of yet another episode. Many thanks for watching. For more information, log on to our website on www.wakilimkononi.co.ke. You can also follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Wakilim Kononi. Remember, ignorance of the law is no defense. Until next time, bye for now.